Oh, you rolling raptors. There are many reasons why I love this setup. One of them is that a 5.80mm wheels make 180 so much easier. Let's begin with the shifty 180. This is the easiest 180 on the list. The idea is that you pivot on your toes while keeping your eyes on your landing spot the whole time. You don't really turn your upper body, but just your hips. Sean Unwin has made a fantastic tutorial about a shifty 180. The foot that's leading when going forwards should keep on leading after the jump. Let's go switch. This is a shifty 180, but on your weak side. For me, that's my left side. On my strong side, I can do shifty 180s at high speed, but switch is sketchy. Even those long, wonderful and end dragon frames can't prevent me from losing my balance. But still, this is the only frame that allows me to throw switch 180s. It doesn't matter how good you are on your strong side, practicing switch makes you a beginner all over again. I hope someday this feels as comfortable as the usual 180. The true 180. The shifty 180 is not a true 180. Yes, you transition from forwards to fake it, but you don't really turn your body. A true 180 requires that you make a blind turn. You only see your landing spot after the turn. That's a bit scary at first, but it's not that hard really. And I like the look of it. With the shifty 180, I turn to the left and end up looking over my right shoulder. With the true 180, I turn to the right. That switch, but I know I'll land in a position I'm comfortable in. And here's the cool thing. The true 180 also comes in switch and it's easier than the switch shifty 180. The switch true 180. It's easier because I'm used to turning to the left. The difference is that I end up looking over my left shoulder. Getting to that position with a true 180 feels way more natural. It doesn't mess with my head as much as a switch shifty 180. Are those old 180s I can throw? No, there's one more. The late 180. It's something weird. It's exactly like the shifty 180, but your starting position differs. I jump with my left foot leading, but I will end up looking over my right shoulder. Sean Unwin explains it way better than I do. The switch late 180. To make it even weirder, you can also do the late 180 switch. I had a hard time getting my head around that one. My legs didn't really know what to do, and neither did I. So, those are the six 180s I can more or less land. Thanks to the superb control and stability of the Anan Dragon frame with the FR1 boot. Thanks for watching. Take care and do keep rolling. Bye bye.